Jewel, who is she? Let's find out. So we received this email from this girl who says she got catfished by someone. So we're gonna check that out and see what that's all about. Let's call her. Hey there, my name is Kashida. We have Bilal over here too. I just reached out because I feel like I've been getting catfished and I wanted to get to the bottom of it. Okay, well that's why we're here. We'll help you to get through that. So who's this email? Like, what? where'd you get it from? What's going on? So I know it may sound crazy, but someone named Jewel, she's only been in my life for two years. She's a device, but she gave me the willpower to quit smoking. She told me she was a healthy alternative to quit smoking and she just made me feel like I was doing it in a healthy way and was getting supported. I visited her website and then I received some texts. Let's check out these texts. Wow, she seems like the perfect solution for you. She was sleek, she was small, she was compact. She also told me her health benefits would help me live longer because she didn't contain all the chemicals that cigarettes contain. She honestly just made me feel so supported while going through this difficult journey of trying to quit my addiction that I was willing to do whatever it took. So did you do any investigating further? Did you know about this beforehand? How did this even come about? I initially saw her ads and everybody on media posting about her and then I visited her website and I noticed that her claims did in fact fit what she described to me over text. I really didn't know that I was being catfished until she became a reoccurring headline in the news. Huh. Let's do some investigating and really see what this is about. That was really shady. Let's like figure out what, who this jewel person really is. Okay, so she mentioned this jewel website where mm -hmm. she initially heard about it. So okay. let's go check that out right now. Let's check it out. Wait, it's not actually called jeweling, it's called vaping. Oh yeah? Yeah, what? So their real name isn't even Jewel, it's vape? What's vaping? Oh my God, are you seeing this right now? Bad for your lungs. Vaping related deaths. This article says that it was related to 47 deaths. Whoa. And already 2,290 related injuries from vaping. We have to call her right now. We have to tell her what this is. This is way bigger than we thought. So we found out some really shocking news about what juuling is. Apparently it's vaping. And so we're gonna call Eden right now and tell her the truth about what vaping really is. So we did our research and we did some investigating. Turns out it's actually called vaping. And even further, it's actually called the e-cigarette. Um, so you probably want to hear this. It might be a little shocking, but we're going to break everything down for you right now. So now that we know that Juul is a vape and that it's being used for nicotine vaping, research shows that this is essentially an e-cigarette, which is battery operated and intended to provide similar feeling that regular cigarettes do by vaporizing a nicotine flavored pod. But to uncover this mystery, we need to start from the very beginning to find out how this device became so widely used. Back in 1963, Herbert Gilbert pioneered this smokeless non-tobacco cigarette and began it all. In 2003, Chinese smoker and pharmacist Han Lick invented the first modern e-cigarette to help people after his dad passed away from lung cancer. The first time e-cigarettes appeared in the U.S. was in 2007 and was successful at helping people quit cigarettes. In 2008, the World Health Organization proclaimed that it does not consider e-cigarettes to be a legitimate smoking cessation aid. In 2015, e-cigarettes became more popular than any traditional tobacco product among the youth. In September 2018, Canada reported its first hospitalization for severe respiratory illness linked to vaping. In 2019, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention said that 2,051 people in the U.S. have been struck with lung illnesses tied to vaping, THC, and using e-cigarettes. At least a quarter of teens in the U.S. today say they've tried vaping. About 6% of high schoolers vape regularly. An estimated 2.1 million middle school and high school students reported using e-cigarettes in 2017. That number jumped to 3.6 million in 2018. In understanding the mechanisms behind the lung injuries, the CDC has revealed that laboratory tests from lung fluid samples all contained an oily substance known as vitamin E acetate. Vitamin E acetate is a super sticky substance. When it enters the lungs, it can prevent them from working properly, and so it can get stuck 
in our blood vessels, leading to a number of health consequences. It's not 100% concluded that vitamin E oil is the cause, but they are very clearly somewhat correlated. Crazy. So, is Juul, I mean, vaping, not actually a healthier alternative to smoking cigarettes? It looks like it isn't. Let's take a closer look at this. In comparing both the cigarette and the vape, you can see there are a few differences between the two. The vape works by converting liquid nicotine into a vapor which the user can inhale, as opposed to a cigarette which burns tobacco mixture directly. Vaping is also encouraged by companies because of how much more money you can save by using vaping, by incorporating the Joule calculator which visually shows people an estimate of how much money they'd save by making the switch. The Juul website also shows that one pod is an equivalent of nicotine as one full pack of cigarettes, meaning 200 cigarette puffs. But if we do the math, one milliliter, 100 puffs, is equal to 10 cigarettes, half a pack. We see that they fail to show that nicotine juice that can be used comes in varying nicotine percentages. For example, a 5% pod, while being equivalent to 5 milligrams of nicotine, is actually equivalent to 50 cigarettes. The CDC shows that among daily smokers, the average number of cigarettes smoked per day is 15. In a study done in 2014, most vapors vape 2-6 to six milliliters of nicotine per day, which is equivalent to 1-3 to three pods a day. So when accounting for the nicotine, we can see that on average, people inhale more nicotine vaping than they would smoking cigarettes. So with all this information investigating, now we can really see that maybe vaping isn't a better alternative to smoking. I honestly just hope that people see how these innovative solutions are really not what they seem to be. I hope people do learn from my mistakes. I will be sure to be more careful about who and what I let into my life and put into my body. That's awesome. Well, it was great to hear from you and I'll see you next time, Eden. Don't get catfished. Take charge of your own life and join the movement to promote no more smoking and no more vaping to save the lives of tomorrow. Don't be a fool. Throw out your jewel now that you know who she really is.